My name is uh, Lee Hernandez, and I'm a uh, chef at Palacio Restaurant. We try to bring the comfort food of Latin America, and we try to incorporate their dishes into more of a California kind of style, but still at the same time keep them homey. Hi, Chef Lee. Welcome to West Valley Community oh, Services. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Okay, pick, pick a, a number. number. Ah, course four. Perfect. Right this way. All right. Oh, nice. So I got four course, a dessert or a cheese tray. What I usually do is I look at all the ingredients and then come back to see what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm just looking at everything to see what, what's there and get the uh, creative ideas flowing. Fourth course typically can be a dessert or it can be like a, uh, it can be cured meats, cheeses, with yogurt or honey. Uh, it just kind of to finish the meal after a really heavy course. The inspiration of the dish came uh, on marrying those two concepts of having a dessert and a cheese dish. So our basis of the dish is gonna be a sour cream and almond milk, and then we're gonna have goat cheese. So we're gonna, we're gonna interpretate the panna cotta or a gelatina. I think I'm done. Thank you, we'll see you at the restaurant. I'm really impressed on the different items that you guys have in the food pantry. If somebody would come to the pantry, uh, they should have no problem eating, making a dish at home, like if they were at a restaurant, at a five-star restaurant. Well, what we got from the pantry today was this beautiful olive tapenade. We have these beautiful fresh berries, kumquats, uh, a nice little um, stone fruit, some kiwi. We also have this beautiful goat cheese that we're gonna use that as a present in the middle of the dessert. For our, our uh, panna cotta, we're gonna use sour cream. We're gonna use these honey gram honey oats. And to sweeten the dessert, we're gonna use this vanilla bean syrup. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start the cracker, which is really simple. We're gonna flavor the cracker with the almond tapenade that we got from the kitchen. We're gonna add a little bit of oil, and we're gonna add water. As growing up, uh, my parents had a restaurant, so at 10 years old already, uh, they put me to work. The peak interest on cooking started in high school, actually. Senior year, I took home ec and whatever food classes they had, to just to be able to practice more on that, and. Uh, Graduated high school, came out of California, and went to culinary school. It was funny because coming from the Midwest, we don't really have sushi. We don't really have we don't really have a lot of stuff. I mean, you come here and you like you see sushi, and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna eat some raw fish. So all those things are starting to develop and adapting and understanding different cuisines and stuff, and, and, and it's just fascinating. Now we're gonna incorporate our gelatin in there. Okay, half a cup of the vanilla for a sweetener. We're gonna stir the, uh, the gelatin and the vanilla. We're gonna add the remaining half a cup of the almond milk. So now the next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove our warm liquid. We're gonna stir it up really good. As you notice, you don't see the gelatin anymore. The gelatin has, has incorporated with the warm cream. We're gonna take our sour cream, so about half a cup of sour cream and we're gonna put it in there. The sour cream is gonna add, obviously, sour. So you're gonna have a sour almond and vanilla mixture to it. It's gonna go really well. Now the next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a bowl first with ice and a little bit of salt, and then we're gonna grab another bowl on top, okay? We're gonna strain our liquid. And now what we're just gonna do is we're gonna whisk it to cool it down. So we're gonna make sure it's nice and cool. So as it cools down, we're gonna have these little aluminum ramekins or cups. We're gonna let it sit in the fridge for about maybe four or five hours until it sets. At this point, our liquid is set and is cooling down. We're gonna add our goat cheese right there in the middle. 
the part of food that I love so much is the, the satisfaction and have people smile and say, oh, this is really good. It's not for the glamour, it's not for the money, it's for the satisfaction that I get from other humans that enjoy what I'm cooking. And we got that. We got our panna cotta, all set to go. We're gonna add some blueberries. We're gonna take nice stone fruit. We're gonna cut it. We're just gonna do a wedge here. A little wedge here. We're gonna take the honey oats. We're just gonna chop it up. Now for the final thing is our cracker. We're just gonna cut a piece. And you see how it was all rough? We're just gonna take a piece, any piece, and we're just gonna go like that on top of it. I'm gonna finish it with our maple syrup. And there you go. There's your sour cream goat cheese panna cotta. Giving back to the community is important the way that I see it is. We, we always striving to have local products, local food, local vegetables, local this. And, and the best way of giving back is giving back to the people that is around in your area, the, the people that live around you. Uh, if, if we all work together, we can, we, we can produce nicer things.